out here at a different park today. So far, we've only just been in this simple circle. I'm debating if I want to go through the real trail where it gets kind of like more woodsy, spooky. Spooky, at least if you're walking. If you're on wheels, you're good. But whew, I can't really see y'all because of these sunglasses. But he's out there chilling, back there chilling. Ready to get out of the sun, so I'll catch y'all later. My baby done fell asleep. We end up going down the spooky part of the trail. Had to take them sunglasses off because it was messing with my view and perception. But this is the other end of the trail. I'm not crossing the road to continue on. Never been that way. Um, Yeah, so we might travel that another day. Maybe, maybe not. Because this road gets pretty busy with people cutting through as we get closer to five and i is 458 right now so anyway about to have a hop back on this bike can't even talk I'm about to switch to a different language and then get back to the car my baby is asleep and i don't want him leaning over like that too long yeah so let's go so we had another successful bike ride. It was really, really good. It's getting easier, like this guy had told me every time that we ride. So when we were going up the inclines, I no longer had to, to stand up working the bike to get up the diagonal incline. Um, but anyways, we just picked up our dinner because, y'all, I made red beans and rice with the gluten-free um, chicken and dewey sausage. And the chicken and the rice, obviously, done. Like, the whole meal came out seasoned well and delicious. However, however... Ninja Speedy cannot cook dry beans in a speedy fashion. I have to put it, and if I ever do it again in the future, which I'm not, because it takes too long, that defeats the whole purpose of a Ninja Speedy, but I will have to put it on like slow cook, which it was. However, the difference is it would need to be on like six hours. It was seven o'clock when I started cooking. Woo. And I hadn't planned no other dinner. Didn't have no nothing else in the home that I can make quick. Because one, the ninja speedy was occupied. So it basically got probably about 88% done. <laughs> So, um, the beans, that is, the beans. Like I said, everything else was well over, it was, it was done. Um, but these beans, some of the beans were just right good, and other ones were still hard. Some of them was, um, soft enough to chew, but thick, yeah. And then that was that, y'all. That's my that was my first time cooking ever dry, with dry beans. So I know, not from experience, but I just know, just head knowledge of seeing things, hearing things throughout my life. That you know, when you're cooking with dry beans, you're supposed to let them soak, and you usually let them soak overnight. I guess that lets them soften up and cook even faster. I don't really know. Sometimes I'm just using. Candy beans. Because that just would have been much, much easier. Um, like I said, the seasoning was on point. Like, if that, if the beans were cooked all the way good, that would have been perfect. Red beans and rice meal. Today would have been the third day for it. I'm over it. So, I did pick up some barbecue. 
some delicious barbecue, however expensive barbecue. And then the fact that our kids' plates, y'all wanna know how much it costs? Y'all wanna know how much? $19 and some change. Yeah. For a kid's sausage plate with cream corn and a sweet tea, and then a kid's chopped brisket plate with potato salad and a sweet tea. Yeah, so we about to get in here, enjoy our food. We are in the process of moving. Yes, 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 yes. In the process of moving. More details to come later. By the time y'all see the videos of us, it's probably gonna be like July. <laughs> Today is Monday, April. 29 at 5 40 p.m. Central Standard Time. Um, anyway, yeah, so by the time y'all see those videos, we're gonna be already moved in. I'm just excited. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Yeah, I'm so excited. Oh, it's been a long time coming, y'all. It's been a long time coming for this. Like, years. Everybody who knows me know I've been talking about this for years. Years. Every single year. And then finally, this is that year. Today is a day of appointments for Isaiah in handling housing things for me. We are just leaving his dentist appointment. He has his 15 month checkup in an hour and 35 minutes. He should be going to sleep because he was definitely just started falling asleep before we arrived here at the dentist appointment. And I'm so glad today they took, they didn't take their time because, oh my gosh, the first time, this is our second time at this place and our last time at this place because his Medicaid has ended effective today. So I have to add him to my work insurance, but so yeah, so today is the last day at this dentist. Simply because I don't really care for it. I don't care how they I don't care for how they do things. It's another one, a better one that's more holistic, just I'm sure look nicer. Yeah, we're going over there. We're going over there. Um yeah, we ain't going to this one no more. Same thing with pediatric, like Today will be the last appointment there. I honestly, it was gonna be the 18 month, but since his Medicaid ran out now, um, we're not doing, yeah, today just gonna be the last appointment. Cause if you know, or maybe you don't know, but after the 18 months visit, they don't get seen again until four. And really it's because of a shot schedule. We don't do that over here, no. Um, so technically, he didn't really need to be going. So anyway, the manufactured home buying process so far is smooth. So far is smooth. I submitted my, well, I showed proof of my down payment on Saturday. Submitted all I needed to submit for that. And then today they called me and they said they still needed my detailed letter of my um, past two years of employment history. They needed and 60 days of pay stubs. So I already submitted that. I'm done with all I need to submit. Now they're just waiting on the manufacturing home community to submit what they need to submit, which is the agreement you know, for the lot rent, um, which is $4.99 a month. Um, 
um, the community waiver. Uh, a homeowner's insurance estimate, quote, whatever. Basically, everything else that's due to be submitted is for the community to submit. Yeah, she just need to do what they need to do. They still got to put the skirting on the house. Um, deliver my shed. Which I pray they go ahead and have that delivered before we move in. Because all the stuff that's in the garage is going to go in that shed. And even spiders in that garage, like even some big ones, I'm not about to be putting that in my house. And I don't want it sitting outside. Now, when I went and visited, when I rode through on Saturday, um, I counted a total of three people that's already moved in. Two that look like they've been there for a minute. One... He just started moving in. But, um, yeah, so I'll be detailing more. Like, this is my first time being a homeowner. This is my first time going through the home buying process for a manufactured home. Um, I lived in, at the time it was called a mobile home. I lived in a mobile home when I was a kid, when I was in elementary school. Um, and I lived in a mobile home park. Like, that's where I met all my childhood friends that I still um, have connects with today. Um, like, it was just a family. It was a true community. And I loved it. Like, I have no, no, uh, nothing bad to say about my very vivid childhood of living in a mobile home community in a mobile home. We had fun. We literally had fun. And everybody knew everybody. Um, we were all at each other's house. Like, that was a time where my brother's friends would literally, if they seen that, um, your door open, because, you know, we had the screen door. If they seen the main door open, child kids just walk up in the house i think even even when the door was closed because i think we might have had a bad habit at least my brothers i'm not locking the door so yeah their friend would just walk up in the house craziness but yeah it was a fun time fun times fun times but now my son will be out here growing up in a mobile home community for now because the ultimate goal is to have my land i'm still gonna buy my land um more than likely we'll move this home out of the community onto the land i don't really care for a big space i don't care for a big space before i got pregnant the goal i was literally looking at living in a tiny home or even an rv yeah, because <coughs> I'm thinking financial freedom. And financial freedom is still the goal. Like, if you can just free up your money. Like, you can just enjoy life so much better. And just be able to do and fund what you're called to do. Because it takes money to live. It takes money. It takes money to even fulfill your purpose that God has created you for. So, I only have two major debts. And that's this car that's going to get paid off first. And then the manufacturer home will get paid off second. And then I would just free up all my money.